I... What is this place? It's so green. My name is Dr. James Richards and this is Dr. Kalame. Hello, John. If you are hearing this, it means that the initial procedure went perfectly. We have linked your mind to the dream of a man named Luke Williams. As for your body, it is being kept safe, here, close to us. Luke has been diagnosed with severe depression. We have attempted several incursions into his dreams, but he has always detected our presence, cleaned our intentions and evaded us. The roots of his current state of depression are buried quite deep. This is where you come in, John. You see, you volunteered to help us with this one. We need to remind you that your own memories are inaccessible during the entire operation. It means that you won't remember who you are, nor recall these events after it all ends. But, whatever you do or do not remember, know this. We accepted your offer because you are the best in the field. John, your job is to track Luke and liberate him from whatever oppressive thought is weighing down on him. Set him free, John. You don't have much time. The longer he stays under, the easier it will be for him to... fade away. Time to get to work, John. You are his last hope. And his only one. I would wish you luck, but I doubt you need any of it. We'll be monitoring you closely and retract you instantly if the situation spirals out of control. One last thing. We will be out of contact for the duration of your mission. The technology is not quite fully mature yet. Right then. See you in a couple of hours. Hmm? What's happening here? What are you talking about? Wait, what the... What in God's name is going on? Whoa! Oh, I... Uh, hello there. Sorry. I, I haven't seen anyone here about in a while. You gave me quite a scare there. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, and for coming out of nowhere straight from the dark. I... I was just taking a night stroll in the wilderness when I spotted some bright lights ahead. I couldn't help checking them out. I wasn't aware anyone lived here. Ah, well this is our... Uh country house, so to speak. We live in the city, but often come here on weekends and holidays. It's quite peaceful. Oh, indeed. I'm Luke, by the way. Luke Williams. Oh, nice to meet you, Luke. Is that your daughter? I yes, that's Anne. She's always up late playing with that little devil. Little devil? <laughs> that's what we call our dog. He simply loves the woods and Anne loves playing with him out here. So we just let her play on until late. I see. Aren't you afraid she might get injured or something? Well, kids should be able to fall, get some bruises and have fun in the wild. And this neck of the woods is as calm and uneventful as you would like. And besides, we can't protect our kids forever. Although as parents, we always try to. They're part of us, aren't they? Do you have children? 
No, I don't. I, I guess the opportunity never arose. It still might. Anyway, um, where are you staying? In a tent? Yes, it's about a quarter of an hour from here. I intend to just do some walking in the woods. Right then. Well, if you need anything, food, medicine, or just company, drop in any time. You know where we are. You're so kind, Luke. I'll probably pass here to say hello a couple of times. See you later. At least I think this lake isn't deep enough for me to drown. That is a huge waterfall. What amazes me the most is its power. <laughs> well, I should get some earplugs first though. Ah, now it's getting a little excessive. Does he already know that I'm after him? And he's trying to make me give up? <laughs> well, it could be worse. At least I have a magnificent view, as the internal bleeding in my ears leads me to death or insanity. There you are. Come here, boy. Come here. Oh, you're really afraid of me, aren't you? Uh, okay. How will I get you out of there? Uh-oh. This rock is very unstable. If it falls, I'll crush that little devil. Careful, John. 
I really should I need to think, John. I really should I need to think, John. Well, I don't think it's a very good idea to throw the stick there. Maybe I shouldn't throw the stick in that. It's so dark there, I might... I really shouldn't leave without the dog. I need to extinct John. I don't think it's a very... Maybe I should... It's so dark. Where did the dog go? I... Wait a minute. I know this place. How did I get here? Did the dog... Oh, I hope he did. Oh, hello again. Look, this is Rufus. He came back. He was running so fast. He seemed scared. He almost didn't recognize me, but I yelled. He turned his head and he seemed so happy to see me. He always comes back. I'm really glad he's back. One can easily get uh, lost in these woods. Oh, you know, he's such a smart doggy, aren't you, Rufus? I'm sure he is. Well, I think I'm heading back. Oh, okay. I should go to sleep too, after Rufus comes down a little. And thank you for being so kind. Not at all. Take care, both of you. Bye. Hi, Luke. Hi, John. 
Great timing. I was about to call Lamb back home and retreat. Oh, you do that. I was on my way back to my tent. Did you have a pleasant night hike? Actually, I went looking for Rufus. Rufus? Our dog, Rufus. Why? Well, please don't get mad at Anne, but uh, the poor guy got scared by the sound of the waterfall and was just paralysed under a rock. I tracked him down and, and kind of brought him back. I didn't know that. Why hasn't she told me? She thought you would get mad. I... I, I don't think I would. Imagine if you weren't around. What would happen to Rufus? Because she was afraid to talk to me? Luke, don't take it that way. It's normal for kids to hide these problems from their parents. I... I know you... Oh, don't think about it. Well, I... Are you thirsty? Am I... Thirsty? <laughs> well... Uh... A little bit, but, uh... There's a jar of water in the table right in the hallway. Just open the door and take some. I, uh... You saved Anne's dog, and you must be exhausted. Go on, I'll, I'll just stay here for a while longer. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. Thanks. A glass of water would feel good, right? Oh, darn, it's empty. Well, I better get back outside. Or could I explore a little? Hmm. A family portrait. The faces are somewhat hard to distinguish, <laughs> but they seem like a united and happy bunch. can find something useful. I'm doing this to help you. Ah, there's a piece of paper in this drawer. So many books. <laughs> a lot of classics out here. Oh, Les Miserables. Oh, how I loved it. Wait a minute. Rita Williams. Luke's wife? I... I hear something. A heavy breathing. I shouldn't try to open this door. And the door has locked itself. What's happening here? There's, oh, there are so many mosquitoes here. This sound annoys me quite a bit. It reminds me of when you're trying to sleep at night and buzzing sound lodges in your ear. So many nights I jumped off the bed, grabbed a slipper and had to hunt that annoying bug. What's this? I can't read it. What if it's something important? Hello? Hello there. 
Lange. Need any help? You're gasping. I'll be all right in a moment. Thank you. My husband and I were hiking, making our way through the rocks and the brambles. We used to do it all the time a few years ago. I guess I'm too old for this now. No, you seem in pretty good shape. <laughs> You're too kind. What about you? It's not very often I come across fellow hikers in this place. Well, I'm on a hike too. I did an online search for best places to hike in the region. I think it was called the hidden gem of our city. Hard to believe I've never heard of this place. Are you serious? Well, just as hard as to believe that you'd meet the writer of that article there. You wrote the article? Yes. My daughter kept on asking me why we never see anyone else around. So I decided I would post some photos of this place online and ended up writing a little about it. I never expected anyone to actually read it. Well, thank you. This is such a happy coincidence. That it is. We used to have a house here. That little hut, just a few minutes away. Is it yours? Oh, it seems so cozy. We... My husband and I built it some years ago. We had to sell it, though. It seems to be quite abandoned now. Oh, pity. What happened? Life happened. We needed the money and couldn't spare the time to come here that often anyway. I'm actually really glad we got to come over this time. It's been years. Life can be, uh... Tough sometimes, can't it? It sure can. I'm John, by the way. Nice to meet you, John. I'm Rita. Are you sure you're all right? <laughs> yes, I am fine, really. My husband has just gone a bit further on to a cliff on the other side of the bridge. He really wanted to see it, and well, he's the reason we're here. He's waiting for an important call from work. It will do him good to connect with nature and forget about it for a little while. Well, I hope everything turns out for the best. Uh, with the call and, and all that. Thanks, I hope so too. He has been toiling away at this forever. He will be crushed if the call is not what he was expecting it to be. But hey, that's life, right? That's life, indeed. Yeah, he will be back any second now. I heartily second that. Well, enjoy your breather, Rita. Bye. Bye. Thank you.